Hello and welcome once again to another program of Prime Time. I'm your host, Beverly. Those who participated in the Rotary Club Spelling Bee 2016 know how exciting and challenging this time is. Well, we have five finalists in studio today and they're going to be sharing their experiences. We'll start first though with the president of the Rotary Club St. Martin mid -Isle. So stay tuned and we'll be right back for This is Prime Time. At Nagico, the things that matter to you matter to us. Like your boat when you're at sea and you get away from everything. Your home and the security of your daughter's things. And the car that you've had for too long. But after all these years, you just can't let go. At Nagico, we're about much more than just insurance. We're about the big things and the small things that mean everything. We're here at the outdoor sports meet. Oh, cut. These sand flies are murder. Wait, how come you aren't getting bitten? Mommy uses gorgeous for kids to protect me from them and the evil mosquitoes that give you dengue. <laughs> There's also Go Family Protection for us adults. Can't be too careful with the dengue scares. Here. Wow, this really works. Even the ants have stopped biting me. Well, you heard it here first, folks. Go protect yourself. Welcome back and thank you very much for joining us. This is Prime Time and today we have a lot of spelling bees in the studio. But to begin with, we have the president of the Roti Club Mid-Isle, St. Martin Mid-Isle, and that is Mrs. Veronica Janssen-Webster. And so she kindly came to tell us a little bit about, bring us up to date as to how the spelling bee for 2016 went. Thank you very much, um, Veronica, for joining us on the program. Thank you for having me. Yeah, and I don't mm -hmm. want to mix matters, but I just want to say congratulations on your new post. Thank I, you. I know how busy you are, so it was um, yes. very nice for you to take a few minutes to come and chat with us. So this is your um, the sixth year doing the Spell and Me. Yes. Tell us your um, your impressions of this year's competition. Yes, this was our sixth um, Spelling Bee. This was the third year that we were sponsored by um, the Scotiabank. Mm -hmm. So it's the Scotiabank Rotary Rotaract Spelling Bee. It's not only our club, um, Rotary Club St. Martin mid -Isle, but it's a joint project with the Rotaract Club of St. Martin Sunrise. Mm -hmm. And I must say that um, I have seen all of the, the the last four spelling bees at least and yes. this one was really the best because this year we had a, a whole lot more students and a lot more schools that participated and the competition was very, very, very tight. So yeah. it, it went down to the wire, down to a spell off. So it was really a great spelling bee. Mm -hmm. Well, give me a little bit about what's going on behind the scenes with the spellers. Well, <coughs> we started off with 17 schools, um, two of which were from Anguilla, because Anguilla has oh, been... Had two? Yes, we had two schools <coughs> from Anguilla. Anguilla has been participating with us now um, for the, the... This is the second year that they have been participating. So mm -hmm. the Anguilla Rotary Club, they organized the schools for us, and they come over with the schools, and they, they brought a whole lot of fans. So it was really nice having them there. Um, and we had the 15 schools from St. Martin. There were some schools that wanted to participate, but then they dropped out, yeah. which is, um, yeah, we, we sorry they, didn't, they weren't able to participate because each school receives a, a gift, so on their wish list, yes. once they participate. <coughs> and, I mean, we have... Um, saved in excess of ten thousand dollars just for those gifts for the schools wow. so they get really nice gifts okay. and, and that should um, be encouraging yeah it, it <laughs> is it is very encouraging and that's why schools participate but the children as well they they love it uh, what we did this year to encourage the children to learn so that they are not just participating for their school to win a prize but that they are actually learning we organized tutoring sessions and yeah, that was, was that mm -hmm. new this year that was new yeah. this year uh -huh. that was to make the competition more um competitive right. and to really get the children engaged, make sure that they are learning. Sometimes the children would get the words and they wouldn't even look at them. They'll just come and because we saw that. And mm -hmm. I, I saw that last year and I said, no, I didn't want that anymore. It's a, it's one of, it's our signature project right. in uh, Mid-Isle and it's a literacy project. So in the end, the children should have learned something. Mm -hmm. They should have learned a couple of words. So what we did was on Saturdays, 
we had for four Saturdays before the wow. first spelling bee, mm -hmm. we had volunteers mm -hmm. from our interact clubs, from the Rotaract clubs, and also Rotarians who came out for two hours on Saturdays, for four Saturdays, and we okay. did a tutoring session. Mm -hmm. and but what about parents' participation? Okay, in the class that I have, mm -hmm. we had um, contestants, we talk about at the end of the program, and um, the parents are very, very much involved, oh. getting all the words and practicing oh, with them. Yes every day they, on weekends and so because it's very competitive so the parents the parents were involved but the teachers there are some schools where you see the teachers they don't want to lose mm -hmm. and it's really nice for us to see you know because yeah. we we do this for the children to learn and it's very nice to see the involvement even with the tutoring sessions we had some parents who were there um, nearly every tutoring session with their children uh -huh. and they were helping and they were make sure that their children were getting help mm -hmm. so it, it was really nice to see Plans for next year, anything that you're going to make better. Um, you used to have it on a Saturday because I'm doing the Spelling Bee 2 mm. competition for years yeah. and it used to be on a Saturday morning. Yes. This year you changed to a Sunday. Yes, we met, <coughs> this was the second year actually that we changed to a Sunday. Uh -huh. We met with all the teachers and we asked them, you know, what day is better for you? And it, it came out that the Sunday, Sunday was, was, better. was better. Once it was after church, so that's why we did the Sunday afternoon. Mm -hmm. Once it was after church, it was okay with, with most, um, with, uh, with all schools actually mm -hmm. you know and um, and that's why we decided to do it on the the Sunday so tell um, for the benefit of you as some of the prizes oh the um, the prizes for instance for the the first the first five so the, the five finalists, finalists they got really nice prizes um, there was a, yes. a iMac for the mm -hmm. winner yes um, and this um, second place was an iPad and iPad Air, and then the mm -hmm. third place, I think, was an iPhone. And then the schools are the winner. Yes. If your child, um, if the school won, the schools got computer. But, yes, but um, we also mm -hmm. had, so the fourth and fifth also got a prize. I remember the fifth place being mm -hmm. a Beats headphone um, set. Wow. I mean, the, the, the children love that. Really nice it's prizes. really nice prizes. And then the winning school got a computer and a printer. And a printer. Mm -hmm. And then the the school with the most fans right. because we registered every day mm -hmm. every day of the the three As day you competition. They asked you which school? Yes, which school I was wondering are, why they were doing yeah, that. Which school are you supporting? Mm -hmm. And the school with the most supporters um, also got a printer. Right. And so um, next year is up. Yes. What's next year? Next year, um, we're looking forward to making it um, just as good as this year mm -hmm. or, or, or greater. We have the commitment from Scotiabank again to sponsor us at least two right. more times. Okay. So, but what we do need still is the additional support from the other businesses. Cause, and it's, it's really yeah. such a, a nice project. Mm -hmm. It's a successful project. And you see the smiles on the children's faces and, and it, it, it does good for your community and the words. I mean, I know I'm not going to ask you, be honest. <laughs> How many words there you could spell? I mean, I was trading the students and some of those words were really blowing me away. I wouldn't even get through the first round. Yeah, I'm telling you, I'm saying I helped with the tutoring yes. in the first round <laughs> and I was struggling. Mm -hmm. So I know that it was very oh difficult. God, so yes. when it came down um, to the, the finals and we had a tie and we had to have a spell off right. between um, the student from St. Dominic and the student from the Mac. The Mac right. And each had to spell 20, 20 words. words. And I would, those were not easy. Those were those, the difficult um, Those were extra section. difficult right. words. And mm -hmm. I was thinking, those poor children already spelled so many words. Mm -hmm. And now and 20 come now more. And spend 20 more. I know. I you know. know, and the pressure then yeah. that they're under. But the, la the, the last two, they did the fantastically last two, they well. Were, they were great. Mm -hmm. They really were. And, you know, it made me proud right. because that's what I wanted to see. see. Yeah. And, and no matter what, in life, they will remember those words, you they know, they, yeah. <laughs> they, they will remember how to spell all of right. those words. They are like walking dictionaries yeah. right now. I'm not going to share who the winners are. They're no. going to say themselves mm -hmm. when they come on in the next section. So thank you very much for being on the program with us. Thank you. And um, yeah, good success. And that is a real positive, um, something that you're doing in the community thank to um, yeah, improve literacy. Mm -hmm. thank Stay you. tuned and we'll be right back. We are bringing the winners of this, of this year's Spelling Bee. So stay tuned and we'll be back in a moment.
Travel Planners, an award-winning agency on St. Martin with a well-trained, knowledgeable and friendly staff dedicated to making your travel arrangements hassle-free. We can book your airline, car, cruise and hotel reservations to anywhere in the world. Visit our offices or log on to our website and take advantage of our special packages to the Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico. Travel Planners, voted best travel agency on St. Martin. Hey, Bob, you're on family vacation. Oh, but your daughter's got the measles. But don't worry about it. With your Be Sure Travel Insurance, children under 12 are covered for free. Are you Be Sure? Be Sure. Yeah, for free. A cruise is a great adventure. Not only for passengers, also for us. The Port of St. Martin. Our port always reflected the needs and aspirations of the time. From the first to the 1.75 millionth passenger in 2013. Our cruise story started in 1963 with our first cruise passenger. 50 great years later, 20 million passengers later, thousands of cruise berths later, we've become the leading port in the Caribbean. 50 fantastic years, like a dream. The dream of Port St. Martin lives on and reinvents itself every day. The best is yet to come. Welcome back and thank you very much for joining us. This is Prime Time and we are, um, yeah, in the midst of the spelling bees. We have, um, and I'm going to ask them to introduce themselves first. I'm going to start with Doreen. Hi, my name is Doreen Punjabi. I am... Oh, oh yeah. yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I am 10 years old. Mm -hmm. I, I, I go to Learning Unlimited Preparatory School and I place fourth place. In fourth place. So, honey? My name is Suhani Nathuma. I'm 10 years old and I go to the St. Dominic Primary School and I came third place in the spelling bee. And so who's your teacher? Teacher Beverly oh, and teacher Lisa. Teacher Lisa. Oh, okay, okay. All right. So these are the spelling bees. So tell me, I'm going to start with you, Suhani. Um, how were you chosen to be part of the spelling bee? First, we had a list and then the spelling bee um, people called and then our teachers just did, made a box and they chose out of the names and yeah. one of the names were mine. Mm -hmm. And tell us about how you prepared for those spelling words. Because I looked at them and a lot of them, I'm going to be honest, if I didn't study them, I can't just spell them out like that. How did you prepare? First, I studied them a little bit. I read them two or three times and then I gave it to my mom so then she tested me. Yeah, and then you used to do that um, practice on a Saturday? Yes. And that helped? All right, well, let's see here what you did, Ren. Tell me how you prepared for your, how you were chosen and how you prepared. At, <clears throat> for, at first, I wasn't chosen. It was my friend because we do this um, spelling bee in our school and he became first place, but he had to go somewhere and I was second place. Mm -hmm. So then I got chosen yeah. and then at first I didn't think it wouldn't be like that. And then I got chosen and it was pretty yeah. cool. So, how did you study for those words? I studied by, like, first I v revised all the words, and then I studied them, and then my mom tested. That's right. And then you used to go Saturday too for the practice? Yeah. Tell me about the experience on that stage. Now, me, I would get nervous just hearing the word. I would remember how to spell it. Tell me your feeling on the stage, because you did this for three weeks. Yes. Yeah. Tell me your feel a little bit about your feelings. At first, I was like nervous, I was nerve wracking. And then like, I know I went into two spelling bees before that. And I knew I just had to be calm and everything would go good. Yeah. What about you, Suhani? Um, you I was said, mm -hmm. a little nervous, but once I got on the stage, I felt confident. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Was it difficult doing all three weeks? Um, not really. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You? Yeah. No? It's okay? Yeah. It was a breeze? Yeah. So tell me about those spelling words. How, because I know, I think they started off with the easy ones the first week, and then a little medium-ish, 
in the second week and the real monsters <laughs> came in the third yeah. week. Which was your worst week? The third week. The third yeah. week, yeah? Like the first week I knew some words, second little bit, and mm -hmm. then the third I like... Those were the bombers, blank, huh? <laughs> blanked out. Mm -hmm. What about you, Sunani? The third list was the hardest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You remember which was the most difficult word that really gave you trouble? Electroencephalograph. Yeah? Well, I couldn't start to spell that. You can spell it now. Let me hear it. E-L-E-C-T-R-O-E-N-C-E-P-H-A-L-O-G-R-A-P-H. Well, if I had a word like that, I would definitely not reach the end of it. That was a difficult word for you? At first, yeah, and then, mm -hmm. no, and then, like, they were all, her, like, most of them were hard in yes. the third round. Mm -hmm. So, like, I don't know which one to pick from yeah. here. So. But did you have a special thing that you did to remember your words? Yes. Well, what was it? Share I, that trick. I, <coughs> I broke all the words down into easier pieces, and then I learned them. Uh -huh, that's what you did. Mm -hmm. And you, Suhani, how you did yours? Um, the endings of the words, some of them, like, they had... S C E or S E. So I just made different lists of that, and then I just read the first letter of each word, and then just memorized it like that. No, yeah, so you had your little style, yeah. And so was it a lot of pressure from your parents to get those words done? A yeah. little bit. Yeah. So how did those, how did you balance that? Because you have to study those spelling words. A lot of them I saw them, and then you have. Teacher Lissell's homework, and you have Teacher Beverly's homework. How did you balance that? <clears throat> so we just made it into like we had a goal for each day that we have to finish like fifteen or twenty pages, and the third round it only had sixty-three or sixty-four pages. Only sixty-three pages. Oh, how did you balance schoolwork and then studying? I balance since I would go to the store every day mm -hmm. and then finish all my homework, go down, I mean, go to my house and then change my clothes and bam, study. Yeah. Would you encourage your friends to take part in the spell with me? Oh, yes. It, it was a very good experience. Mm -hmm. I think that they'll all do good if they just study and, and do it. And what did you get for your prize? I got a Beats headphones. Okay. So you're listening to music already? Uh, and so, Hadi, what about you? Would you encourage your friends? Yes, because um, even if they don't make it to the third or second round, mm -hmm. it's still good because they learn so many words and the definitions and stuff. And I think it's going to be useful when you grow big and mm -hmm. you go for a job or something. And your gift was? Uh, I, um, a I Galaxy got. Time. Oh, the Galaxy. Okay, right. You're using it already? Yes. Alrighty. So thank you very much, uh, Diren and Suhani, for joining us on the program. Congratulations on your winnings. And yeah, encourage the others for next year. Thank you very much. You're on the right road to success. Stay tuned, and we'll be back in a moment with the other winners. GEBE has been faithfully serving the communities of St. Martin, powering your home and our economy. Come rain or shine, our qualified team of professionals are working hard 24 hours a day to provide you and your family with safe, reliable electricity and water. We use the latest technologies and test our products daily to maintain the highest international standards. Our friendly staff is always there to assist you whether in person, over the phone or online. We are committed to constantly improving our products and services, making them more efficient, effective and environmentally friendly to serve you better today and our next generation of clients tomorrow. GEBE, -E, powering a brighter future. Our friend Mega Wadi is here with tips to save you energy. One, turn your air code temperature up. Two, use a ceiling fan instead. Three, buy energy saving products. Save some green with NVGEBE. -E. The Daily Herald is my first source for up-to-date information and news. Putting together this program of prime time requires research and knowledge of current events. For local news, regional and international news, do read the Daily Herald. And so now we have uh, the big winners. These are the champion spelling. These are the bees. 
Yeah, so I'm going to ask you to introduce yourself. They are the winners, and they're going to introduce yourself to our viewers. Go ahead, Deshine. Hi, my name is Deshine Gale. I am 10 years old. I attend the Mac Jag School. Uh -huh. And, um, yeah, which grade are you in? I'm grade 5. Grade 5. And go ahead, Siandra. My name is Siandra Caesar, and I am 10 years old. I go to the St. Dominic Primary School. And you are in? Fifth grade. Yeah, and who are your teachers? Now I'm being biased here now. Teacher Bubbly and Teacher Lisa. Teacher Lisa, yeah. So um, I'll tell you all the big secret at the end of the program. So tell us, um, Siandra, how was it being part of the spelling bee? It was challenging, exciting, fun. And fun, yeah. And um, so tell us about your experience up on that stage. First, I was a little nervous, and then after a while, I was okay. It was okay. Was it tough going through week after week? Because you did three weeks, huh? Yes. Three Sundays. So tell me about those Sundays. It the was... The first one. The first Sunday was okay because it was the easy set of words. Mm -hmm. Then the second week was getting harder, and the last week was very hard. That's the bombs. Yeah. And let me hear you, um, Dejeuner about your experience on the stage and how you felt during the weeks? Well, I felt good during the weeks and my experience on the stage, it was nice. I wasn't shy. Right. So did you have the same experience and the first week was kind of okay, second week got a little bit more difficult and so? Yes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And so tell our viewers, what was the place? What did you place? I placed second place. Yeah, she was the second place. And Siandra? I placed first place. Yeah, Siandra was the winner. But I must say that they had um, the finals, and it came down to Siandra and Dejeuner. Uh, and then they had, as uh, Ms. Webster said, Jansen Webster said, you all had to do a final round of 20 more words. How did you feel? You I felt good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What about you? I wasn't really happy about that, that part. I'm doing 20 more words, right? And those were the real difficult ones. Tell us now about your spelling style, because we are going to show it on video, how you used to spell. Tell us, when they give you the word, you would take a while before you spell it. Tell us about that. Well, I will spell it in my head, so, I'm, so if I make the mistake, I can change it in my head, and then I spell it out. Oh, so that's what you were doing? You were spelling it because you were doing like... Like that, so you were spelling it in your head. Yes. Yeah, and did you have a special way of doing of doing yours? For me, like whenever she said the word, and then while she was saying the sentence, I would I would be saying it in my head, and then when it was my turn to spell it, I would spell it out. Yeah, because you spelled your words right away, and then it took a little a few seconds before she spelled hers. But that was great because you stood out because I was so different with what you were doing, and everybody was looking. Um. How did you prepare for um, for the spelling bee? Let's hear um, what Siandra says. For me, I would study like the whole time I'm home, and then when my mom comes, she will ask me the words, and the words I get wrong, like I would write them down, and mm -hmm. then the next day I study another set of words plus the ones I got wrong, and then she would ask me. Oh, them. Was it tiring? Yeah, yes. so how do you balance that because you have homework to do too? I would do my homework as soon as I go home and then I would start studying. You study. And now you were the first place winner. And you know, um, you all went down. Out of the 20 words they had to spell, you all spelled all the words 19 rounds. And the problem was the, was the 20th round. One letter that you missed. Um, how did you feel? I felt a little good, mm -hmm. but a little disappointed too. Yeah, but you all reach far. Those were not easy words at all. So tell us, would you encourage your friends to take part in the spelling bee? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, why? Because it's a good experience, and they will learn a lot. Mm -hmm. So you think you you're a better speller now? Yeah. Uh, were you, are you normally a good speller in school? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. What about you, um, Dejeuner? Would you encourage your friends to take part in next year's spelling bee? 
Yes. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I will encourage them so that they can go into spelling bee and make the school proud. Mm -hmm. And their and parents. How is your spelling words in school? Tess. I know you're spelling tests on Fridays. Do you have spelling tests on Fridays? Yeah? And how you do? What are your grades like? The spelling tests in school? Good. Very good. Yeah? You remember any of the words that really gave you a tr trouble? No. No? What about you, Dejeuner? <laughs> Huh? Sandra. Sandra. Uh huh. Um, there were so many. Yeah, there were so many. So, is there any word you think you would like to spell that was a difficult one? No? You can re recollect any? Yeah? You remember the hardest word? No? Mm -mm. It was the one that Suhani told you. The, no, that, oh, that big one. Boy, she was spelling that one must have that sounded like 15 letters in that word. It's 21. 21 letters. Oh, you see, it's 21. That's a lot. Um, so what does it mean to be a spelling bee champion because you are the first winner, first place winner? Well, to be a spelling bee champion, you have to do your best and you have to try hard. Yeah, what was the response from your classmates? They were happy, yeah, and tell us what you got as your prize. I got a MacBook here. A Mac. Are you using it as yet? Yes. Uh huh. All right, Dejeuner, tell us about you. You are the second place winner. And what was the response from your school? Well, my teacher said to bring the trophy to school. Right. And when I brought it to school, the children were proud. Were proud of you, yeah? And what did you get for your second prize? I got an iPad, Apple iPad. Uh huh. So, you using it yet? No, not yet? You're saving what, for Christmas? Yeah? Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, um, Siandra and Dejeuner, for joining me on the program. Yeah, and congratulations. You are the champion, and you're second place, but you did just as well. Very, very good. You did all those rounds well, and so, um, Siandra, you really had some good competition, but you um, pull it out at the end. Congratulations, and keep on spelling. Yeah? Thank you very much. This has been Prime Time. For watching, don't forget, you can view this program and all programs on Facebook and YouTube. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week and may God bless you.